Hey guys, welcome to the lunch review. Today I'm going to Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen has a new uh, burger. Hopefully they have it. Um, I'm gonna try that, and I'm you never know. I might pick up a blizzard. We'll see. We'll see what they have. So anyway, I'm gonna take you with me. Welcome to Dairy Queen. How may I help you? Um, yeah, can I have one of your loaded A1 um, stack burger? Do you want to do the combo meal or just the sandwich itself? Just the sandwich. Okay, honey, is there anything else pre-ordered? Um, yeah, give me a small Reese's Take 5 uh, Blizzard. Okay, honey, is there anything else for you? No, that's it. Thank you. If you have a lid by any chance, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Alright, now I just have to figure out a place to park. Um, where do I want to park at? I can park on the side. It's snowy over here, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I can park over here. It's fine. Okay, so here's the Take 5 Blizzard. I took the lid off. I thought they used to have lids that were like dome shaped that I didn't think they'd stick a flat lid on there. But anyway, whatever. Um, so there's the Take 5 Blizzard. It looks really good. It has like pretzels and m, &M or uh, Reese's Pieces pieces in there. And um, I think I said pretzels and anyway, peanut butter, that kind of stuff. And here is the A1 um, stack burger. It has bacon. The burger has a little onion ring on it. A couple onion rings on it. Um, looks like an A1 sauce and cheese. Um, and it looks like a double, so yeah, it looks really good. So I'm gonna get the camera turned around and uh, give it a try. Okay, as much as I would love to just dig into the to the blizzard, I'll resist. I'll, I'll resist the urge to do that. Um, okay, so here we go. They have a. There's like a little. Uh, you probably saw it in the picture in the video. There's like a little crust on there. It's just where a piece of, another piece of bread was on top of it. Um, it got stuck. So anyway, here we go. I like the bacon. It's nice and um, like has a chew to it. It's not like crispy or crunchy because I like a softer bacon. That's just me. Um, you really taste that A1 sauce. I tell you, it's got a good strong flavor. That's what it looks like. You, um, the bacon, you don't want to fold it up on there um, if you want to keep it from hanging off. Yeah, I really do like that A1 sauce. It's really, really good. Like I said, it has a really bold, strong flavor. I think if you like A1 sauce, you'll really, really like this because it is, um, it's almost spicy, like almost to the point of burning your throat a little bit because it's, it's it's hot, but um, not quite that bad. So if you, like I said, if you've had A1 sauce, you kind of know that flavor. Bacon's good. Can't beat bacon on a cheeseburger. That's for sure. That's my personal opinion. Bacon and burgers always go good together. Um, I like the onion ring on there. You just get really just a little crunch from it. It doesn't add a lot of flavor because the A1 sauce is so strong, but it really does add um, some texture and maybe a little bit of onion flavor as well. Um, I think this is really good.
even the bites that don't have the A1 sauce in it are still pretty good. It's a little messy though. Good thing they gave me like three or four napkins. <laughs> yeah, the burger, I would give that burger a five out of five. It's really, really good. Um, if you got the combo, it was a, um, like I said, it's a little spicy. So if you don't like spicy, um, you may not like it as much, but it's got a really good um, flavor of that A1 sauce. And it has a, it tastes like it has a little bit of mayo in it too. And the, uh, like I said, the onion rings give it a little bit of a crunch and maybe just a touch of, um, of an onion flavor. And um, the burger itself has got a really good flavor too. I don't think they charbroil their burgers. They might, I don't, I don't know. It's been a long time since I got just a plain burger. You can't taste the charred flavor. Um, if they are, they may just be grilled. I don't, I don't know, I can't tell. So let me try this blizzard. Um, I definitely see pretzel. Yeah, there's a big hunk of pretzel right there. Right there on top. I'm trying not to make a mess. If I do that, I'm gonna make a mess. Hold on, let me get a napkin. You really get the um, the flavor of the pretzel, especially when you get a pretzel. Wrap this one around. <laughs> Almost always I wrap the cups just to keep it from overflowing. There we go. And we can tuck. So I got a big hunk of pretzel just now. Let me see if I can get a piece that doesn't have quite so much room because all I tasted was the pretzel. I don't think you got to avoid the pretzel. There we go. Um, yeah, that tastes like a real, just a really good, like a, a peanutty kind of flavor. I think if you like pretzels and a slight peanut flavor of ice cream, I think you'll like this. Lots of pretzel though. And there's a little bit of, I think caramel or something in there. No, I think it's peanut butter sauce. Now that I'm looking at it better. Might be caramel, I don't know. I miss my mouth. Hmm. I think if you like a, if you like the Take 5 already, I think you'll really, really like that. Um, I forgot to say the price. I did not get a combo meal, so it's just individual prices. So a double loaded A1 um, stack burger was $7.49. Um, the small blizzard Reese's Take 5 was $4.79. And then the, uh, so my total before taxes and everything was $12.28. And then, you know, you got to pay state tax, sales tax in Kentucky. So not too bad, $12.28 uh, before tax for a, uh, a pretty decent sized blizzard and a really, really good burger. I'm gonna give the burger, like I said, a five out of five. I think I said that, I don't know if I did or not. Anyway, I'm gonna give the burger a five out of five. I'm gonna give the Reese's, it's got so many pretzels in it that's really almost all you taste. I'm still gonna give it like a, it's still ice cream, so I love it. So, um, I'm gonna give it a four and a half out of five. Maybe even a four out of five. I wish it had like um, some more caramel, a little bit more of, of things besides pretzel, but, it's still really good, don't get me wrong. So anyway, um, definitely worth trying out the burger for sure. If you if you got Dairy Queen here and you, you haven't been there for a while, try them out. They, they're pretty good burgers because used to it, the food was okay. The burgers are really, really good. And the, the blizzards, they're always good. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.